What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and we are going to be doing this. As you can see, whenever our page loads, we have a blank gray screen here, and we've got two video links. And as you can see here, it says choose a link to play this selected video. You click video one, and it loads this video. Double click video one, and it closes the video. Video two, and double click it to close the video. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first thing we want to do is create a new composition. And now we want to add in a couple of layers. So let's add in our first layer. We want to duplicate that one. We're going to name this one container, C-O-N-T-A-I-N-E-R. And then this one right here is going to be named cube, C-U-B-E. -E. Come over here, drag our cube, drop it on top of our container. And now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to, uh, let's go ahead and duplicate our cube twice. Okay, and now we've got, let's uh, drag that one up to there. And we're going to name this one Movie 1. And then drag and drop this one on top of Movie 1. And we're going to name this Maker 1. Okay, so that is going to be our first movie maker. So let's grab a hold of that and let's make that one just a little bit smaller. So now we can drag it. Uh, we need to do this one as well. Okay, so now we grab a hold of this, drag it, and let's drop it about center. Right up in there seems good. So let's go ahead and give this one a color. And we're going to give this one just a little bit darker. Right, let's try that again. Click there and drag it down. So let's grab a hold of these two and drag and drop them on top of cube. And like so. Okay, so now we've got our video maker. And so this is our first one. So let's come over here and let's go ahead and draw in this. And let's change this to a red. Let's also grab a hold of a text, drop it right there, and say video one. Okay, and now let's make it smaller. And then drag and drop it right there. Come over here drag and drop on top of our button. So remember, everything needs to be a child. So always keep your um, your uh, stuff as children or your elements as children. That way it makes it a lot easier for you to work with without having to go, okay, now how is I supposed to do that? Just remember your container, your cube, and then inside of your cube is uh, your movie and then however many movies so let's say that you got two or ten movies then each one of these is going to have its own movie and then inside of it, it's going to have its own maker so it's going to be movie one through movie ten okay so now the first thing we want to do here is let's drag our timeline indicator out create a label show one and then drag this out to show Oops, sorry. Hide one. Okay, double click, change that to a capital. Okay, now come right here with our movie one selected. Okay, we want to come over and we want to switch this to um, on. And then right there is off. Okay, it's automatically going to put that as off. Once you choose one, I'm mean, on here. It automatically sets the beginning to off. Also, we want to click on our insert trigger and choose stop. That way it will stop it right there. Now, with our own, we want to come to the end right here, click on our trigger and choose stop. That way it will run the own and it will stop it there. Now let's come to here and we're going to switch this to off. And then we're going to come to the end right here and then we're going to uh, add a trigger to stop this one as well. So it's going to show, it's going to stop there, 
and it's going to hide and it's going to stop there. So now we come over here and let's click on our video which is going to be right here. This is our vid one. So let's go ahead and open it up with a click and we want to play from show one and then come over here and add in a double click and play from hide one. And so now the next step that we want to do, okay, that, that right there is going to show our video. So if we run this, we can click here and it's going to show our video. We double click and it's going to hide our video. So we've got that part done. So now the next thing that we need to do is that we need to add in our video and we need to add in our edge hero. So let's go ahead and add in Rob's edge hero. So we want to go to composition, no, creation complete. And so now with creation complete, we want to come over here and grab a hold of this text and paste it. So what this is going to do is that this is going to load our edge hero and uh, he does have out a new edge hero and it is two, but I do not have the link to that. So let me go grab a hold of the link. So let's go ahead and Come over here to Edge Hero, and we want our Edge Hero JS. And then we want to come down here, and this is what we want this code right here. So let's go ahead and copy that, minimize, and then come over here and paste it in here. So now we've got the newest version of our Edge Hero. So now we've got two videos here. We've got our um, our bunny and then our next video is going to be my very first lesson of the edge hero so let's go ahead and um, let me see video link underscore one so that should be let's go ahead and copy that okay so now the next thing that we want to do is that we want to come over and we want to choose our maker and then type in video one and then controls and then mute it okay you don't have to mute it i just mute it that way it doesn't have the audio while i'm creating the video so let's go ahead and run this and then we load it and then there's our video and then whenever we play the video it plays and then we double click and it gets rid of the video so then what you do is that you just go through exactly what i just showed you and then you create uh, your multiple multiple videos here. So you can come over here and select this one and do a control uh, C. Yeah, control C, command C on a Mac, copy and paste, you know the routine there. And then you create your next one and then you do two. And then this one right here, you do two as well. And then we come over to here. So we got our movie maker two our movie and our maker two right there and then we choose right here and we change this to video link two I believe that's right let's come over here nope that's gonna be YouTube link come over here and now paste that in so now whenever we run it it's not likely gonna load that one so then you gotta come through here and you gotta do the same thing that we did before so we gotta come over Let's get right here and we want to create a label, show two, and then come to the end of here, another label, label hide two. And then we come right here, we make sure that our movie maker uh, two, I'm sorry, our movie two is selected. And we can come over here and drag this down to the bottom that way they are in order that's a lot better so now we're going to do our movie 2 I'm going to drag this right here okay that seems good there so uh, now we want to do our uh, own and see 
as before it automatically sets our display to off and then it sets it to on there so then we drag it to here and then we choose stop then we come to here and then we choose off and then to the end and then we do a stop again okay so now we just copy and paste drag this over change our text to 2 and then select our video this is going to be vid 2 and then we want to do an on click from and this is going to be show 2 and then let's do a double click from hide 2 so now whenever we run it we got our video 1 double click and then our video 2 double click okay Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net I hope that y'all enjoyed this very quick or semi quick uh, video on how to do a linked video using the new edge hero by Rob alright y'all have a good one now bye bye